Hey folks, how's it going? So I'm working on this piece uh, just now. It's inspired by the Soul Gems from Skyrim. I really like those as items. I think they look really cool uh, in the game. So I wanted to make one uh, or two. I might make a, a few actually. Depends on how this piece goes. Uh, just as like decorative pieces or props. Um, so this is where I've started with. It's made from a material. I think it's some kind of styrene. I'm not entirely sure to be honest. I actually get this from a local coffee shop. They're uh, signboards, like the, the price boards that you see up behind the counter, uh, they're made out of this stuff. I think it's like a recycled plastic. Um, and when they switch out their, their boards to incorporate new seasonal drinks and stuff, I just grab the, the old ones because they're just getting thrown in the trash. And they're a really good uh, material for model making and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I think it's uh, uh, kind of some kind of recycled plastic or, or styrene or something. Um, so it's really tough, which is cool, um, but it's also soft enough at the same time where it can be carved really nicely with uh, a craft knife or an exacto knife or whatever. So for this piece I just uh, cut a bunch of sort of prism shapes and shaped down the sides in some of them to make them kind of fit a bit better and just came up with this uh, random kind of freeform uh, shape. Alternatively, you could just use uh, some kind of cardboard or uh, foam core would even do the trick for, for something like this. Uh, so yeah, you can grab those if you can't get hold of, of styrene or, or anything like that. Um, but yeah, the next step is for me to go ahead and fill up some of these holes, uh, the gaps and stuff that are left over, the seams. Um, so I'm going to go fill all those with uh, stuff called green stuff. It's like a two-part epoxy model and putty. Uh, so I'm going to fill the gaps with those to make it look like uh, one solid piece as opposed to uh, a bunch of random uh, panels glued together. So that's the next step. And I went a bit crazy with the green stuff. I've covered the whole thing in it. Um, I did originally just do the top and the bottom just to give it a bit of texture. I just wanted to make it look different from the, the flatter panels, uh, almost like rough stone, uh, rough gemstone or whatever at the top and the bottom. Um, but I went ahead and filled all the gaps in between the sections of the styrene but just thought that the, the flat panels were a bit too flat and perfect so I wanted to give them a little bit of texture just so when I go and paint it I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of layers of different uh, colours of paint and stuff and the, uh, the detail will pick up uh, when I dry brush it um, the detail should pick that up quite nice and just give it a bit more visual interest uh, overall and it makes it look a little bit more natural as well uh, which is cool um, so for painting I'm not entirely sure uh, what I'm going to do I want to try and make it look like the the stones from or the soul gems from uh, uh, Skyrim but obviously this is a, a solid thing I think the ones in Skyrim are a bit kind of see-through and translucent um, but we'll see I'll maybe try and get some uh, try and do some painting techniques that kind of replicate that um, but I definitely want it to look kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, is it like opalescent or iridescent, incandescent, fluorescent, I have no idea what I'm trying to say, uh, opalescent I think is the kind of look I'm going for, so it's got like a shimmery sort of, almost like a two-tone kind of colour thing going on, uh, I have no idea, I'll uh, play around a little bit with the paint and see what looks good really, um, but what I've got in mind is just to make it look, try and make it look as, as close to a, a soul gem or whatever from Skyrim uh, as I can, but I'll go away and, and play around with the paint and uh, we'll see how it looks. Alright folks, there we go, it's all painted up. I just used a whole bunch of purples, I uh, went through a range of purples, turquoises and blues and then some white as well on here uh, just to give the, the final sort of effect. Um, I based it with the, the darkest blue and then just went up uh, you know, to the, the lighter turquoises and then went back in with the purples uh, just on the spots uh, that is purple um, and then white finally with a like a dry brush it's where you load the paint the paintbrush up with paint and then rub it all off on like a, a paper towel like this which explains all these smudges uh, so you barely got any paint left on the brush and then you just lightly kind of dust over the surface of the piece um, and the you know whatever paints left on there gives you this nice uh, mottled kind of blended effect um, which is really good for picking out uh, detail and stuff, uh, any detail you've got going on, you know, the high surfaces will just, uh, you know, stick to that um, and the recesses will be left, um, so it gives you this really nice sort of texture. Um, brings out all the detail in it too, which is cool. Uh, and then finally I hit it with uh, a gloss, uh, just to give it like a, a shiny sort of look. Because um, I wasn't going to be able to, to get this to look exactly like a soul gem, but I wanted to get it, you know, looking as close as I could. 
um, just with the the colors and obviously because this is a, a solid opaque piece it's not a, a translucent uh, gem so to speak so yeah I just tried to, to get it as close as I could and fairly happy with it uh, but when I finished it I kind of you know thought of how it would be presented I just didn't I didn't want it just like sitting on a shelf what to do something a little more interesting and to kind of make it look like it is something that you would find in uh, the game Skyrim so I went ahead and made this uh, this is still to be painted, it's still kind of in production um, but I want to show you it before I went and painted it up just so you could see how it was put together it's made with the same stuff that I made the gem out of that styrene uh, display board stuff from the, the coffee shop just cut a disc for the bottom and then three fins uh, just a, a random kind of shape that I free handed and then a, a ring on the top here um, and then I went in, the green stuff you see here is green stuff I uh, just went and added that to the, the top ring here down the edges of the fins and then the ring around the bottom here uh, just gave it like a, a stippled kind of look to it to make it look like it was hammered just to give a variation in texture so this wasn't all completely you know flat metal um, it's going to be painted up to look like metal uh, these plastic bits you see on the top here are uh, plastic BBs uh, for like a BB gun, I just cut those in half sawed them in half and stuck them on the top to make them look like little studs and then these kind of disc things that you see on the bottom of the fins are just some random little plastic bits that I've had sitting around for ages in my bits box I keep a hold of a bunch of little plastic stuff to use in uh, craft projects just like this so I just added those to each side of the bottom of the fins to give some detail around there and then around the bottom here, uh, this is actual, uh, what do you call it, dragon speak or something. I looked up online the, the alphabet, so it says something uh, all the way around here. I won't say what it is, it's just kind of a little hidden message, I guess, to remind myself of something. And then uh, just added some little lines uh, to the inside just to give uh, a bit of detail in there. So I'm going to go away and paint this up in a sort of worn old metal kind of effect and then I'll come back, put it together and show you how the finished thing looks. Okay folks, that's the base all painted up. I started off with a really dark uh, metallic gunmetal sort of color and then worked my way up through lighter and lighter colors to a, a silver kind of dry brush over the top just to pick out some of the details and I did sort of a stippling effect on it just to make it look kind of patchy and uh, you know kind of aged I guess and then I went back in with uh, a rust kind of wash and then uh, also a black wash to pick out some of the detail in like so the, the scribing in the base and uh, also the to pick out the, the hammered sort of texture of the you know the uh, sculpting work that I did um, on the ring there and then the ring around the base as well um, so I wanted it to look kind of beat up, um, not too over the top, but just, you know, so it looked like it had been sitting on, on some desk in some dungeon somewhere maybe uh, for years and years, and just to kind of fit in with the, the whole Skyrim uh, theme. So it came out alright, I'm fairly happy with it. Uh, the shape overall is something I just kind of made as I was as I was making it really, I didn't have any kind of idea of what I was going for. Uh, to start with, it just sort of came together this way, but I'm fairly happy with it. it you know, I think it looks like it's something that could exist in uh, the world of, of Skyrim or Elder Scrolls. Um, so yeah, fairly chuffed with it. And then the gem uh, just sits in there like that. So it's just uh, a little display piece, um, just to, you know, kind of show this a bit. I thought it would be nicer than just having the, you know, the soul gem sitting on a shelf or, or on my desk or whatever. I wanted to make a bit more of a... I guess a statement piece out of it, so that's what this does. It just, you know, gives it a bit more of a, a display kind of quality. And then uh, also, I like the the contrast between the colors, uh, the the blues, turquoises, and purple with the the grungy kind of you know beaten up uh, metal kind of look on the bottom there. Um, so yeah, also you can kind of you know turn this to to whichever kind of direction you want. Um, looks kind of cool this way too. It's actually, this way it's actually got quite a wider profile, it looks like it does anyway because of the, the bigger flatter surface here um, and when you turn around this way it's got more of a, you know, you see more of the prism sort of shapes in it. Um, so there we go, I know this wasn't really kind of uh, coherent or, you know, really fluid kind of tutorial on how to do this kind of thing but I was just, I was making this thing anyway and I just wanted to throw a quick video together just to show how easy it is to make stuff like this um, you know just a bit of time and patience and 
uh, cutting bits and pieces up, uh, materials that you might find around. Uh, you can make something that looks, you know, halfway cool, and you can, you know, sit it on your desk and be proud of it, I guess. Um, so I'll probably come back with some more kind of like prop videos, I guess, prop making videos. Um, I've actually already made a Skyrim glass dagger as well. That's pretty cool. Um, I've not got any video for that, but I've just got some stills. Uh, I mean, I've got the actual thing, so I might come back and uh, show that. Uh, and then just talk about the, the process as I'm going through the, the still images. So if you want to come back and check that out, that'd be awesome. Uh, but yeah, until the next one, cheers for watching, and I will catch you all later. Goodbye.